Kara from The Home Blondie and welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video, then you saw I did a spring cleaning video and I planned on doing a front door makeover, but I never got around to doing it. So that is what we're doing in this video. And I learned this tip from Nesting with Grace. So she recommends that you paint your storm door to match the color of your front door. So our front door is black and our storm door is maroon and it's something that never really bothered me before. I never even really noticed, but once I saw her talk about this and show how much of an improvement it makes just to the overall look of your house, I decided I really wanted to do that on our house. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm also planning on going over to Target. I want to look for a new doormat and maybe a planter or something that I could put by the front door. So we'll see what we find, but that is the plan for today. So stay tuned to see this makeover. Okay, I just left Target and I really didn't have that much. I got a doormat. It's, um, it has like flowers on it and it's really bright and so I think that will be cute for spring and summer. And I did see like a large planter that I really liked, but it was like $60 and it was just plastic. Okay, I'm actually in the dressing right now, so hang on. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, what can I get for you? Um, can I have a Crunchwrap Supreme with no beef, please? All right, go on and pull forward. Thanks. So I just realized I didn't have on my seatbelt because I just came from the parking lot over there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm in the Taco Bell drive-thru and Kevin thinks that Taco Bell is like the grossest fast food and so he always makes fun of me for coming here so I always do it like whenever he's not around so he doesn't know. So yeah, they didn't really have that much at Target. I feel like lately they've been getting their shipments in slowly so the sections are never completely full um so anyway yeah the stuff they had i wasn't really that impressed with they did have a large planter that i thought would be cute for right next to the front door but it was 60 dollars and it was just like plastic so i'm actually going to head to lowe's and I always get these two confused. <laughs> Michaels, I was gonna say Marshalls, because I feel like those are some good places to find cheaper, like outdoor decor. But I'm going to sit in the parking lot, eat my crunch wrap, and listen to a podcast, and then we'll drive over there and see what we can find. This is what I ended up getting at Lowe's. This is a boxwood and um, it fits perfectly in this and I'm an idiot and had it standing up in my car. So as I was driving, it fell over and dirt got everywhere. So now I have to clean all this up. Okay, this is what we're starting with. I really need to power wash this whole area but we'll start painting and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I already cleaned off the door and now I have to tape everything off and then this is the paint that I'm going to use. All right, one coat down. I think it's gonna take two coats. As you can see, the inside part of the door has this window that you can move like up and down. So I think I need to paint this part too, which is a bummer because that's gonna be tricky, but we'll work on that tomorrow. 
Okay, it's the next day now and I've done a lot since I last filmed. So last night I finished painting everything and then this morning I started putting everything together and I have this problem where I just cannot stop with things just looking fine. I have to really take everything to the next level. So yeah, this has turned into a whole thing and I ended up going back to Target, back to Lowe's and then I also went to Michael's and I didn't film any of that because I was trying to get everything done before I had an appointment today. But I just got back from Target and I got this like layering doormat. So I like the one that I got yesterday, but like I said, it just looked kind of basic and I just felt like I needed to elevate the look. So I got this layering doormat. It's from the Studio McGee line at Target and I think that is going to look really cute and just pull everything together but yeah I ended up getting like another well I actually already had the pot um I took a like pot or a planter from my backyard and put it by the front door and then I had to go get a flower to put in it or I don't even really know what it is it's some type of like bush or something and then I also got a wreath and now I have this extra doormat so yeah it's pretty much all done now so let's just go out and I'll show you the reveal <laughs> Well, I had so much fun with this project and I hope it inspired you to make over your own front door. I feel like this is something that is so fun to do for every season. And also your front door is the first impression of your home and it kind of gives everyone an idea of what the inside of your house looks like and like a little sneak peek into your decor style. So it's definitely not an area to neglect, even if you just get a new wreath or a new doormat that can really make such a difference. And if you have a storm door that is a different color than your front door, I highly recommend painting them to match. It will really just improve the overall look of the front of your house. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye.